Well, welcome back, guys, to my new Let's Play. As you can tell, I'm in an um, Australian accent. No reason for that. Just new Let's Play, and I'm really going to be enjoying this. This is no offense to Australians, if any of you find offense to this. This is me actually saying, you all are so awesome, I actually want to try to get an accent like that. Because of all the accents I have, this was the most interesting to me. It's laid back, and it's good. Good like s how I don't ever say something stupid before I put a foot in my mouth. This game is made by Chrome Studios, in which I actually have no idea about them. They haven't done many games, so sorry to say, but welcome to the Tide the Tennis Mighty and Tiger Let's Play. One of the favorite games of my childhood, and I'll be sharing it with you all. 2002. Uh, that's... I don't feel like doing the math right now. I'm playing a game. I don't need math. And if you could, just to uh, put it out there, there's an autosave feature on this game. I can't do much, so for me, I would be interesting since I only got one shot. So, just to explain. How about I explain it later? Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? 
Oh, am I glad to see you? Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home. Okay, so now that we're at the I load screen, what? now I can you keep talking. Uh, more or less, uh, no, I will give it a few out. seconds. Yeah. I know there's, su there got oh, there's subtitles, so I don't, must not worry. But more or less, uh, one thing you know about the art stuff, anyone, anyone else may have noticed, I'm still looking at this as a... It's like a cross between Wallace and Gromit and something Welcome else. There you go. No cartoon show? I know. But I just it looks Wallace way, and Gromit to me. Oh, uh, but signs, another weird thing. Why they all believe? Way. Just to say, it's kind of weird. They he could have had a trip out or high, and they were like, "Hey, man, a spirit told me my parents are stuck in another world, and so is the rest of my family. Will I help me? All right, whatever, man. I'll just follow you around to beat this." Turkey dude and before I Thanksgiving. Will I beat this game before Thanksgiving? I have no idea. There's so many worlds yet. We have so much time now that school started again. Yo, yo, yo. And I'm missing my rang, man. It's like missing my foot. Actually, no. I think missing a rang and a foot are two different things. Okay, I will skip over some of the talking scenes since they do really get long. And this is a good example. Watch this. Uh, how about no? As I am kind of a on a time constraint. How about this? I'll let you hear this little unique that phrase. Matrix! Except the talisman. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that means yet. I will give you the short snout version. More or less, this machine allows you to go to different worlds. If you have a specific amount of thunder eggs, this allows you to open up the new world. You can actually open up new world with, before even getting to the boss if you collect, if you 100% eve each level. It's like Mario 64 with Glover. Kinda awesome, ain't it? Two games? Two good games? Yes! Let's keep going! May you all be interested! And this goes on for way too long. Now I give you the short and steady, and yes, they say, go to two off, the first level in this game. So let's go to two off! Woo! We dug our head in a middle ground. Yeah. Oh, wow, time is really not of the essence for me in this game. More or less, yes and no. Not time constraints, but more or less something else. Oh, la 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 la. But, uh, cutscenes are gonna be an abundance in this. Well, not an abundance, just spouting through. I'll t uh, the reason why I talk over this instead of the other cutscenes is the other cutscenes don't have subtitles, these do. Since these have subtitles, you can all read. If you can't read, not my problem. Go look up Reading Rainbow, that may help you. For now, I'll keep playing this game, since I can still listen to it. Listen, oh wait, why am I reading it? You all can just, well, if you're reading, you're reading. If you're reading, you're not reading. If you're... Okay, I'm confusing myself through my moronic ways. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, more or less say, go through this level, blah, 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 blah. Just collect these opals. What are opals, you may ask? I actually have no idea. They just exist in this land. Are filled with awesomeness. Yeah, I'm really being a little bit. Eh, I just came back from watching District Nine. Don't ask me. It was a weird movie. I'm still wondering what I watched. Oh, I saw was a bunch of aliens die and the F word thrown around like crazy. Hey, my one an Effa, 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 Effa. Okay, why am I talking about that movie in a game full of Australian animals? One fun fact about this game. Most of the animals are based, are Australian based. So the people, which I gotta commend, they did their research in finding all these Australian animals. Uh, sooner or later I'll tell you each of these uh, animals' names. For now, I don't know except Ty, who's the Tasmanian tiger. Amazing, ain't it? I actually did my research. I look at the front of the box and the title screen and every single other place that's really obvious. More or less this right here. And it's your dinghy. Oh, not your dinghy. Your donkey. You dunk your head in there. Nip. But more or less, uh, this is checkpoint. More or less, checkpoint be used through the game every time you die. Every time you die, you come out this checkpoint. Checkpoints are dispersed throughout the levels so that you may be able to come back at a certain point. Definition of a checkpoint? Yes. Why I say it? No idea besides being obvious. And in case you didn't know what that bathroom was used for. Now these. Besides moving and teleporting me without my advantage, uh, if I wanted to or not, they should be right up back up. 
Actually, where am I? Uh, actually, that's my question. Why am I? Wow, that guy got teleport powers. I was over here. Eh, interesting. I guess. Yeah, I never understood how come in the cutscenes they move me to one place and put me back the other. Chances are it's automated and programmers wanting the main character to be where he's supposed to be at a certain spot. And yes, the reason why I skip over these is they're really, really throughout the game they have all these. And one of this is a tutorial. Press square to hit the crud out of people. I'd advise using the boomerangs. Bite for fun. I'd say bite when you feel like biting the crowd of things. The crates, I just bite because it's fun watching him jump, gnaw his way through wooden boxes of doom. Uh, oh yes, just to explain why I say this is Glover-like. These opals are technically like, uh, whew, what can be compared to? Eh, this is gonna be hard to say. Uh, more or less, the opals are like the flower.